Hey, this is Bethany with Photographer Overnight, and today we're going to talk about the new mirrorless cameras and how they're different from your traditional DSLR, along with the pros and cons. So just like the name says, a mirrorless camera is one that doesn't have a mirror to lift out of the way when you push the shutter button to take the picture. So first let's talk about what that mirror was used for inside your camera. On your DSLR, when you look through the viewfinder to see what your camera is seeing, you're actually looking down a tunnel of mirrors to show you exactly what your lens is looking at. This mirror is the same piece that gets lifted out of the way when you push the shutter button to let light hit the sensor. Your shutter speed determines how long the mirror stays open before it drops. With the mirrorless cameras, they take out the whole system of mirrors, which frees up all that space inside your camera, making these cameras much more compact and lightweight than a DSLR. So if you no longer have that mirror to show what your lens is looking at, how will you look through your viewfinder to see exactly what your photo is going to look like through the lens? Well, the mirrorless cameras rely on the digital live view screen to show you what your lens is looking at. Some of them have a viewfinder where you look through and see a tiny live view screen, but many of them no longer have a viewfinder to look through at all. So the downside is that instead of seeing a crystal clear real-time image through your lens, you're looking at a screen. But with the newer technology, the resolution and clarity of these screens is getting better and better. The other thing to keep in mind is that for the mirrorless cameras that don't have a viewfinder, it totally changes the way you hold the camera as a professional. Instead of putting the camera up to your face, you'll be holding out to see the live view screen to take your shot, which might give the illusion that you're using a less professional point and shoot. And that might not be the image you want if you're a professional photographer. So the next question is, if there's no longer a mirror lifting at the shutter speed you select, how does your camera's shutter speed work in the mirrorless cameras? In the new cameras, the sensor simply collects the available light for the period of time you've specified with your shutter speed, instead of lifting the mirror up and out of the way and dropping it down again. So what does that mean for the camera? Besides freeing up a lot of space inside the camera, you also have one less moving part to worry about. This is actually the part that broke on my first camera during a bridal session where the couple had rented a suit for the groom. The mirror started lifting only halfway up, leaving a nice black rectangle on a few of my pictures before I had to end the shoot. Thousands of dollars later, I upgraded to a nicer camera and repaired my old camera to use as a backup for situations like that. So less moving parts to worry about in your camera is a huge bonus when it comes to repairs. Additionally, without having to mechanically lift the mirror out of the way, your camera is able to have a faster frame rate with the mirrorless cameras, which is how many pictures you can take per second. On the other hand, with a smaller camera you end up with smaller batteries, which means less shooting time on your battery. Another big consideration when looking at a new camera is the lens selection. Currently mirrorless cameras have a very small selection of compatible lenses, but the number continues to grow. A lot of people are wondering if they can use their current lenses with the new mirrorless cameras. The short answer is yes, but you'll need an adapter for it to fit on the camera. But even with the added space of an adapter, you've still got a much more compact, lightweight camera. One downside that will likely change in the future is that most of the mirrorless cameras are currently using smaller sensors than your professional DSLRs. A smaller sensor means you're getting less dynamic range and in low lighting conditions you'll get a lower quality picture with more grain. With this being said, several of the newer mirrorless cameras do have the bigger sensors that allow for professional quality images comparable to high-end DSLRs. With continued advancements to improve the downsides of the mirrorless cameras, the advantages are starting to outweigh the cons. My thoughts on mirrorless cameras? I think they're the future of photography. They're smaller and more compact with less moving parts to worry about, and you have the option of getting the same quality sensor as a high-end DSLR. In the next five years, I see mirrorless cameras outselling DSLRs. Love getting updates in the photography world? Subscribe to our channel for more great tips and tutorials that will help take your photography to the next level. And don't forget to visit our site at howtostartphotography.com where you'll find awesome tools and downloads to help you run a successful photography business. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial brought to you by Photographer Overnight.